In Jesus' name, Charmaine and I are agreeing together. I see a big L here too. What does the L stand for? Lovers? What is your name? Lawrence. Your name is Lawrence? If God would give you just if God gave you a boy baby, would, would you name him a Lawrence Jr.? Okay. He, he said no. So you're the only Lawrence I'm picking up. Yes, sir. All right. God said you can pick out your own your own name. I'll give you the desires of your heart. It's done in Jesus' name. There's a reward for you. You come to the door of deliverance. The world doesn't make Come on, everybody give the Lord. Got a birthday, January. I'm going to give you peace and tranquility and serenity by your birthday. And 2021 is your year. Good news. The gospel means good. Brother back there that says armor of God, come up here just a moment. I, I felt called to you a while ago. Just a minute. Uh, your name is Charmaine? Yes, sir. Who do you think did that? Jesus did. Back, I love French things. I like French fries, French mustard, French bread. When I was dating, I like. French kisses. Say, <laughs> Lord, pour out your anointing on this family in Jesus. Oh, uh, Charmaine, re remember that name. We're going to have her picture in our magazine when this baby comes. God's adding 15 good years to your. God said, Tell him I'm giving him 15 good years. I don't need tires either. I don't need tires. What are you going to church? I don't know. If I told you God brought you here for a reason to, to get a message from headquarters, yes. would you believe on a single? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Put up your right hand. You've not told me anything. Nobody's told uh, talk to you? No. Everybody put your hand out towards this brother. There's so much. You're a called out one. You remember the ecclesia. You're a chosen vessel. God said, I have not changed my mind. I called you. You ran from it. You could run, but you can't hide. And God said, this is your year of coming out of what you've been running from. Behold, I'm going to make all things new. You haven't talked to anybody. Uh, you had a couple of dreams that were almost just alike. In, in this dream, you were kind of flying. You were floating along, and, which is a, a miracle in itself. How much you weigh? A lot. A lot. <laughs> And you were floating on this uh, on this pink cloud. It was a pink. Yeah, it was hot, hot pink cloud. Let me cover this handkerchief here. Have you told this anyone? No. And as you were floating along, you looked over to the left, and there were two pink stars. One of them had an A in it. And you reached out and you held those two stars close to your breast, and you were floating along, and you looked down on the on the ground and you saw some people and you were motioning them to come fly with you and they tried but gravity brought them back down. It was, But it was such a beautiful euphoric experience. You were just flying along and you felt weightless. And there's so much of this dream and that you looked over the ride and just for a, a glimpse you saw hundreds and hundreds of hungry faces that were looking at you from, from this side of the cloud and you were reaching out with the other hand trying to grasp them. There's just so much. I'm not going to go into all of it, but I just wanted to bring this back to your remembrance. Just before you woke up, and this happened two different times, um, you saw like a manila envelope. A manila envelope. And you looked over to your right, and there was a, uh, a mirror, and it said 012, 012. And you thought, what does that mean, 012? Because you know football, and that's Tom Brady's number is 12. But you woke up, what is God trying to show me? God said, you're one of the 120 that's going to start being used in dreams and visions. I want to give this to you. I can't sell it, but this is a, a quick study dream scroll in my handwriting. God gave me a Nigerian dream and vision. And God was speaking to you the interpretation of your dream. You've been flying like an eagle. You've been flying. You've been trusting God for some impossibilities. The devil's been trying to kill you. But God said, I'm lifting you higher. You're going to mount up with wings as eagles. God said, I'm healing that old sugar condition. I'm healing the blood pressure condition. I'm healing your kidneys. I'm healing the heel spurs and gout. God said, I'm lifting you up above that. 
he, he looked over to the left, and there were two pink stars. One of them had an A in it. The, the, the other one, your heart throbbed for it. And God said that represents two women in your life because pink is the color for girls and blue is the color for boys. There's two women in your life you've been trusting God to for a miracle for. Yeah. One of them names starts with an A. Is it Ann or Annie? Yeah, Ann. Who is that? My wife. Your wife. And she really needs a miracle in her faith. She needs a miracle of... So she'll accept the call of God on your life so you and her can be in the ministry together. One place a thousand people. You have a daughter? You've been praying for a miracle for your daughter? Yeah. What is she going through? Um, I think she's got some kidney things going on. You? God said you, you, you've been reaching out to them in love and trusting me for the impossible and you're going to see a change in both your wife and your daughter. And uh, there's just so much as you were going on through you get trouble in your eyes. You're not wearing glasses, but your eyes get blurry, clear up. Your eyes get blurry, clear up. As your as your sugar has fluctuated, God's healing you. It's over now. Can I say this? Wednesday night, I'm going to try my best to not preach at all. Uh, it's personal prophecy service. You believe God can have me give me a personal word for everybody here? But I want you to bring a, a box of salt to church with you too. We're going to anoint everybody's tongue with salt Wednesday night. He wants to lose weight or quit smoking. I'll tell you more about that later. I'm just going to be here four more nights. The, the rest of your dream, you were floating along. You saw a manila envelope. A manila envelope. Now, what does that represent? God speaks in symbols. There's money that's held up. There's money that's held up. There's something from, from the Philippines. Manila's in the Philippines, isn't it? Okay. Part of your life, is there any of your life connected to the Philippines? Yeah, my wife. She's Filipino. Oh, your wife is Filipino. But God said that Manila envelope is wow. Represent, there's money that's held up and that you you didn't know nothing about that she's know nothing about. It's going to come to pass. And just before you woke up, you you kept seeing that uh, that O twelve in the mirror. That O twelve. And God said that represents that by your birthday. God said, you're going to move into a realm of healing the sick and casting out devils. Destiny delayed is not destiny denied. How many heard that? Quit doubting in the dark what God promised you in the light. Quit trying to rewrite your theology to accommodate a temporary tragedy. So backwards, O12, would be 210. When is your birthday? February 10th. February the 10th. By your birthday, and this is, you can take it to bank. You're going to have dreams. You're going to have visions. You're going to be led to people that I can't reach. Go oh, hallelujah. There's an area that God's going to lead you to. I see horns uh, on a head. Have you ever been to an area called Buckhead? Yeah. That rings the bell? Oh, yeah. You don't live there, but that's an area that you've been, been there. God said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you, uh, I'm going to give you, uh, I'm going to give you miracles for people in Buckhead. People I could never reach, people your pastor could never reach because you're going to be their pastor. Dreams, visions. What's been happening in your feet? What's happening? I don't have any blood flow. You don't have any blood flow? Flow. Is it like a diabetic when you rob with me or something? Uh, yeah. If I told you it was Hino right now, would you believe me? Yes. We'll run over there and uh, pick up that man in the red shirt, shake him like a dog, shake him around. Come back and tell you. You're gonna, you are the 120 going to be used in dreams and visions. Give the Lord a minute. You're healed. You're healed first. You're healed. Your God is healed. You're found an archer to heal. Have your feet broken. Feel good? Get back there and say, wait a minute. I, was in, I, I flew into Atlanta last night, and uh, my, my luggage didn't make it. I had to wait at the Air, Atlanta airport four hours in the rain, but it, it finally came on the next flight. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not complaining. All is good. I made it great. Thank God for God's goodness. But I, I, I went up to a place that had cheeseburgers, and it said Carl's Jr. And uh, I saw your face. Anyway, I just thought I'd tell you. What is your first Carl. Look back there and say, my name, Carl, is not James Brown, but I feel good. <laughs> I do feel good. It's done. Everybody say, praise. Give 
Praise the Lord. Of you know, brother, brother, you're going to lose a pound every other day for the next 30 days, so you'll lose 15 pounds in the next 30 days. I'm just saying the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a big hand. Hallelujah. Brother right there with the blue hat on. Did you come up here? Hallelujah. When you go to church, don't, 